We do have an author, Assemblymember Swanson is here, so please come forward and present your bill. AB 12 would allow a judge the discretion to fine a John who has sex with a minor up to $25,000 and would use those uh, funds to support programs that help commercially sexually exploited uh, minors with wraparound services. Uh, the average age of girls entering into prostitution in California is 12 years of age. Uh, some of them are victims of human trafficking. Some of them are victims of sexual abuse. Some of them are victims of abandonment and mental abuse, but all of them are victims. I've been an Oakland police officer for 10 years, and although I have worked in many assignments, including patrol duties, burglary investigations, and undercover narcotics enforcement, even being selected by the DEA as a task force member for a nine-month drug cartel investigation. But nothing has affected me and touched my heart like the issue of human trafficking and the commercial exploitation of our children. I've been involved in combating this modern-day form of slavery since 2003. First, being utilized as a street-level decoy, targeting pimps and johns, and then as a full-time investigator with the Child Exploitation Unit. There, I spent three years rescuing these girls from this bustling for-profit hell of sexual slavery. Much, of, much attention has been paid to the pimps who coerce or force these girls into this lifestyle. But I'd like to tell you that the customers commonly referred to as Johns are nothing less than sexual predators. Predators who seek out our children for sex, often driving for miles to our city streets and suburban motels to find them. These predators operate in a dark underworld and have their own subculture and language, using the internet to help one another locate and buy children and also to advise one another how to thwart law enforcement and avoid detection by wives and loved ones. After paying pimps to repeatedly rape our kids, they usually return to their lives undetected, unpunished, or with a slap on the wrist. While the victims suffer emotionally and physically, and we as a society are left to try and undo everything they've done. Jennifer Baker with the California Teachers Association and strong support of this measure. Teachers often witness um, the early signs and uh, detect abuses that happen and had often found situations where children that were in their classrooms were being used in this way and so we very much support this measure. Rebecca Gonzalez, National Association of Social Workers, California chapter. Um, obviously, social workers also see the effects of, of this kind of exploitation, and our organization considered this bill important enough to be one of our three top priorities in our lobby days this year, and we strongly support the bill. The bill has been moved. It's a due pass to the floor. Um, Madam Secretary, please open the roll. Hancock? Aye. Hancock, aye. Anderson? Calderon? Aye. Calderon, aye. Harmon? Aye. Harmon, aye. Lou? Sure. Lou, aye. Price? Aye. Price, aye. Steinberg? Okay. Um, we're putting that bill on call for other senators who are not here. Thank you, Thank you uh, very much. Madam Chair and members of the committee.